breaking down voices is really important to make sure that you know your character can speak and and do what you want. Uh, a lot of people try to use stopwatches and they think that they can do it that way, but you know it just doesn't work. Uh, some people also think that you know oh do you they always ask do you record the sound first or do you do it after the animation? And uh, it's really funny how so many people don't understand that. You know what you have to do is you record the audio, you break it down, and then uh, you know you you animate the character according to that sheet, um, your X sheet. So anyway, uh, let's just get into it here, and I'm going to show you how to download this program and how to do everything absolutely free. Um, and actually, there is not just this program that you're going to use. Uh, the first program you're going to use is a program called Audacity, which is also free and uh, I'll put a link in the description of where to where to get this uh, there are some settings within here that you have to make sure you have uh, in order to record the audio properly for J lip sync to work so what you want to do is go to edit then preferences then you want to make sure that the number of channels under the audio IO tab is one mono you can do it in 16 channels, you know, 10, 9, 5, 4, 2 for stereo, whatever you want, but you want to make sure it's set to 1 for mono. Then what's the other one? The other one is you want to make sure under the file format tab that it's set to Wave Microsoft 8 bit PCM. So you have a lot of choices here. It's, you know, you can have 16 bit, 32 bit. Uh, you know, WAV files, a FLAC, F-L-A-C, a C-A-F, an A-U, an A-I-F-F. -F. Uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between all that stuff, but WAV file, 8-bit, PCM, Microsoft, that's what you want. Click OK. Then you record your sound, uh, making sure that your microphone is selected as the input device. So, you know, here I'll just record something really quick as a test. Okay, so testing one, two, three. Now you can see it generated a waveform. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Export as Wave. Then we're going to call it Test. Okay, now I'm going to close Audacity. So that's the first program we used. And um, so now what about J Lip Sync? You know, what do we do to get that? What you want to do is you want to download it. There's a link down here. It's called jlipsync.jar and it's a very small file. Um, the other thing, the only requirement that they have for Windows and Linux and Solaris is that you have this thing called Java Virtual Machine JVM and that's basically just installing Java on your computer but this particular type of Java is used to run programs so you want to download it according to your operating system uh, you can do it you know 15 megabytes all at once or you can download a smaller 7 megabyte download and then uh, once you do that if you want it you know as it's installing it will take data off the internet and do it automatically for you uh, so you have Windows, Solaris, and Linux, and then for Apple, uh, they actually have a link here so you can go to their, their Macintosh Java site and download it there, but I think it comes pre-installed on Macs, so I don't think you have to worry about that if you're a Mac user. Um, so JLipSync will work with Macs, which is great, or Windows. Uh, so once you download all this stuff, you'll have a, a folder, and you'll have... Uh, your Java installer. You want to double click that to make sure that it's uh, it's properly installed on your computer first. Then you'll click on this thing called jlipsync.jar. And when you click that, you'll see that the program pops up. This here is jlipsync. And as I said before, this only works with 8-bit mono uh, WAV files. So if you try to open up like an mp3 it's not going to work you would have to first convert any mp3s into 8-bit mono WAV files um, 
But once you're in here and you've done everything that I told you already, you want to go to File and then Open. Then you'll get a, a screen like this. And if you're on Windows XP like me, you'll have to select Wave Audio Files from the File Type section down here, and then find your uh, your test or whatever audio file it is that you have. So you double click it and then you'll see that it opens. And what this is is that test audio I just did before. Okay, so testing one, two, three. Okay, so it definitely it's working and it's in there. And then what we can do is we can put our mouse here and then scrub through the audio. Okay, so testing one, two, three. And you can do it at any speed you want, so Testing. So we're going to look for the T sound here. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm just left clicking on there, and that's definitely a T. So I'm going to go over here and double click on T. Now what's happened is the mouth shape area has a T. And then it also shows it in this picture here as the T mouth shape. So let's do another here. That's an E. So we're going to look for E here. Double click it. That's an S. Double click it. So what's happening now is we have uh, our waveform and we have it set at film 24 frames per second. Um, it can't do anything like 15 frames or 10 frames a second. It can only do these. So you want to make sure your animation is either one of 30 frames per second, 25, or 24. Um, and then when you scrub through here, okay, so testing, 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 you'll see that your your mouse shape will move according to however you uh, you marked your exposure sheet. So. That's it. N G O. That's it. N. So the more you do this and you scrub through, you'll see that the mouse shape will really look start to look neat. Okay, so testing one, two, three. And you want to export it so that you can print it and take it with you wherever you're animating. So what you want to do is you want to go to uh, File, Copy Time Sheet to Clipboard, click that, now I'm going to minimize it, and here we have a text document, and I tested it out before and you can see that it works, but I'm just going to paste it right here, our testing 1, 2, 3, and then what you have is you have your frame number, you have your time code so you know how many seconds you're up to. I don't know if you really need that because you can just look on the left here. Uh, you can, you know, if you if in the program you have marked off keyframes, you can actually select keyframes like this just by clicking. Uh, then you have your mouth name, so T E S T I N G O N. So you know that on frame 13 it's a T it's an E by the time you get to the 15th frame, it's an S by the 17th frame, a T by the 19th frame. So as you're animating you just take this printed out sheet and you mark off each frame as you've taken it. So that's all there is really and uh, all this stuff is free. Um, you know it's a very simple program and there's really no reason that you had to pay for an expensive program to do this. Just uh, just follow the links on in the video description uh, to find all these programs. And if you have any questions, just uh, let me know.